Hi, welcome back everybody. Now we are going to study about the Mid-Autumn Festival. What do you think, Ishan? Well, I like Mid-Autumn Festival a lot because there are lots of barbecues and mm. mooncakes. Wow, mooncakes. I love mooncakes. Me too. Well, did you know the Mid-Autumn Festival is also called the Chinese Moon Festival, which is a harvest festival in the Chinese calendar. That's right. Daniel, can you still remember? What is Chinese calendar? What is Chinese calendar? What's the difference between the Chinese one and the, you know, Western one? Ah, is it the lunar calendar, Ishan? You are really smart. Wow, that, because you told me before. Thank you. So, <laughs> the lunar calendar is different to the solar calendar. That's right. Well, the Mid-Autumn Festival, it is a time for family reunion mm -hmm. and giving thanks for the harvest. That's right. Ah. Do you have this kind of festival in New Zealand? Well, in New Zealand, we have quite a large overseas Chinese community. Mm -hmm. And the overseas Chinese people really like to celebrate the festival. So some of my friends uh, would give me mooncakes sometimes. All right. Yeah. So that's why you like mooncakes a lot. Oh, I love them. And so do you like zongzi more or mooncakes? Moon Can I have both of them? Okay, I will give you both of them. <laughs> mm, thank you, I'm getting hungry right now. Well, the festival takes place on the 15th day of the 8th lunar month, every year. So, that means it varies from year to year. Right, right. And sometimes it's in August, right? Right. Sometimes it's in about September. You are right. Mm. Because it's according to the lunar calendar. That's the reason why it varies from year to year. Oh, okay, I see. Well, I think it's a great festival and it's a good idea to be thankful. We should always be thankful of good things in our life. Of course. Mm. Well, there are quite a few legends about the Mid-Autumn Festival, but I will mention just one story. So, which story are you going to talk about? Well, Let's talk about the legend of Chang'e, who flew to the moon. Right. You know about Chang'e? I know a little bit about the story about Chang'e. But maybe you can tell me something else. Okay, but first, do you know why she flew to the moon? Something about a love story? You are right. We wow. will talk about it. Wow, <laughs> love story. I love love story. So romantic. <laughs> So you are a romantic person. No, I just like to see other people's love story. <laughs> you like to pe see people falling in love? In the movies, right? Okay, yeah. cool. Well, did you know in the past there used to be 10 suns in the sky? Mm -hmm. A hero named Ho E heard about this problem. And you know what he did? Ho E? Yes. What did Ho E do? He destroyed nine suns. So, leaving only one, so it wouldn't be too hot for the people. Wow, I think it's not easy to destroy a sun, right? No, so that's why he became a hero. People respected him wow. a lot. Wow, good job, Hoi. <laughs> well, before long, Hoi fell in love and he married a beautiful young girl called Chang E. Right, you know us girls, mm. we always like a hero. Oh. So that's why, I think. So if there's some guy that destroys nine suns, you think he will be a nice guy? Yeah, he will look really like brave, strong, and wow. handsome, I think. A great hero like Ho Yi. I agree. Mm. <laughs> well, Chang E climbed Mount Kunlun mm -hmm. and she met the Queen of Heaven. She gave the elixir of life and anyone who drinks this will become immortal. But wow. why do you want to be immortal? Do you know, immortal means you'll live forever. That you means you will not die. You'll never die if you are immortal. Isn't it great? I don't, I don't think so. Do you think it's great? You will see other people mm. die and mm, we're still here. That part's a little bit sad. Right, I think so. Mm, you have a lot of life experience. True. True. 
Wow. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. the treacherous Peng Ming saw this. He took his double-edged sword, big wow. sword, and broke uh, into Ho Yi's house. Why did he do that? Wow, what do you think? Because he of the potion. Exactly. There was the magic potion. The evil Peng Ming, he wanted to steal the potion so he can live forever. Okay. So something happens after that, I think. Mm -hmm. But actually, Chang E fetched the elixir of life mm -hmm. and held it out to Peng Ming. But wow. Just as he was about to take it, she quickly drank herself. She drank that. So, do you think that Chang'e wanted to be immortal, or he just drank it? She just drank it because she thought Pen Min, you know, the evil guy, would live forever, and that would be really terrible. Maybe both reasons are right. Maybe Chang'e thought she would like to live forever, and she wanted to stop the bad guy getting it. Okay. You could never find out. Yeah. But did you know, she immediately became immortal mm -hmm. and started to rise from the ground, rising and flying to the moon. Yes, that's why we have mooncakes now, I think. Ah, so when you eat mooncakes, do you think about Chang'e uh, in the moon? Well, we will always look at the moon when we eat our mooncakes. Mm. And I think... She had a little friend with her. She you had know a what kind friend? of animal it is? I don't know. Is it dog or rabbit or cat? It's a rabbit. Rabbit! Wow, yes. good guess, Daniel. <laughs> okay. So at least she has a company. Mm. But Ho E won't be too happy. When no. Ho E returned home right. and found out what had happened, he became very, very, very angry. He did. Mm. So he wanted to kill Peng Min, mm. but he already escaped. Oh, so Peng Min is going to run away because he's afraid of Ho Yi. Right. Oh. So then something happened because Ho Yi looked at the moon. Mm. So did Ho Yi quickly run outside? Yes, and he was because he was really angry. He was really right? angry. So he's hoping to kill Ping Ming. Yes. However, when he looked into the sky, he noticed something. What do you think he saw? The moon? The moon, exactly. Oh. And who was there? Maybe Chang E was in the moon? Yeah, I think that's what he saw. But the moon's so far away. How can he see Chang E? She's so tiny, right? It's a romantic story, Daniel, mm. right? You have to use your romantic mm. mind to imagine that mm. probably he just saw a figure of Chang'e flying mm. over the moon. Well, I heard he saw an image of Chang'e in the sky. There you go. And since then, Chinese people put out the fresh fruits and moon cakes during this festival. So every year, did you put out some fruit or cake? Yeah, so that's why on this festival we would go outside. We would like the weather to be nice mm. so we can sit outside, eat the moon cakes and the fruit and look at the moon and enjoy ourselves. Oh, what a wonderful festival. Thank you for listening to this story about the Mid-Autumn Festival and Mooncake time is coming soon, <laughs> yeah! Yes, I'm Ooh. sure you will enjoy it a lot. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, everyone, see you next time. See you guys.